Welcome back to Local 10 on Wednesday. We learned about Eric's adoption. Yesterday, we showed you how his birth mother found him and that first phone call all leading up to today's big moment. Yeah, our reunion happening just weeks after those other big firsts. For any adoptee, you create stories in your mind about who this person is, how you fit into their story. You dream about that moment. In this case, my dreams came true. After nearly four decades knowing just one image of my birth mother. Hello. Hi. And just Hello. weeks after hearing her voice for the very first time, I can remember. We're finally going to meet face to face. My family went with me to the Hyde Hotel in Midtown Miami, where they reserved a special room for the reunion. This is the room. For 38 years, we've waited for this. Come on inside, let's be my birth mother together. Hi. I found you. It's weird to look at somebody and see yourself. I've never had that in my entire life. That's true. That's true, but I'm looking at you and I'm like, holy mackerel, you are us. It was surreal to meet the woman that gave you life and then made sure you could have a better life. I was 16. You know what I mean? And you needed more than I could give you. You're amazing. <laughs> you know I'm not. Yes, you are. Because, I mean, it's one thing to say, it's one thing to say you'll do something. But it's another thing to do it. It was rough. You know, it was really hard because I got to hold you and I got to feed you and I got to change your diaper. But I talked to your mom. Yeah. And I knew then that I was doing the right thing. Three. My four children immediately gravitated to their new abuela. We have a lifetime of questions and answers. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. And the best part of that is that that door is open. Mm -hmm. That conversation is open. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the beginning of an addition to our family, uh, almost a homecoming. Yeah. I mean, there's so many parts of this that lo looking forward makes it so exciting because yep. now you got these. I know. These four in your world. I know. It's so exciting. And I have been calling her mom and filling her in on the little things many mothers just know about their kids. Favorite foods, friends, memories. And I've been getting answers to the questions that have hovered in my head and heart for years. I found you. Would you do it again? At 16, yes because look at, look at who you are now. I wouldn't change that for the world. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing you could have ever said. I love you. I love you too. I'm so thankful and grateful for what you did for me. Come on, come on. So you're actually not gonna believe this. The lights just went out in our studio. Your, your story was so powerful, Eric. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna see if I can film, there we go. Look at that. Uh, let there be light, not only on this story, but on so many situations uh, all across the world. Look, we've talked constantly since mm -hmm. that moment. She actually just texted me this morning, mm -hmm. saying she was nervous. Of course, you know me, I joked back with her saying, I know how today's stories end. The reunion went great, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> but I've enjoyed not just sharing my story, but my mom's courage yeah. with you. You are my local 10 family. You are our extended family. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. Uh, doing this story was a big deal for her. Look, I'm a public person. Mm -hmm. She's a private person. Mm -hmm. There are some details that will not be shared. But what I hope you here take away from this is that hope can come. Mm -hmm. Good things can come your way. And what I've been truly inspired by is how many people have reached out.
yeah. sharing their stories. They're either adoptees or they're adopted parents or they're birth parents and they want to have their voices heard about what they've been through, good and bad. All those stories carry weight and keep them coming. So beautiful. And when you called her mom for yeah. the first time, said I love you for the first time, you're just like, you never met her until that moment and you still have all those feelings. And, well, that's the thing is that I never met, never met her to that moment, but, and especially because of the way my parents raised me to adore and respect her, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you love this person from the beginning because you were able to recognize what they did for you. Mm -hmm. Something that still just blows my mind every day. At 16. Amazing. At 16. Just planning out your life for you. Yes. Oh, we're so touched. I can't believe it's over, Julie. We <laughs> watched all three parts of this beautiful story, but it's not over because right. it's you're, right. begun. you have this family now that you're gonna spend time with and see, and I see them texting all the time. So we're just so happy for you. <laughs>